Pam pam. Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm Boeing 737 captain, but today I will fly this airplane. So why should I fly this? Basically we have the worst aviation crisis in its history. That is why I decided to come back to my roots and fly single engine piston aircraft like this one. Maybe I will be the instructor for private pilot license. Now I don't fly a lot, maybe once in 10 days or something. I hope the situation uh, in commercial aviation will improve, but so far I decided to come back to this one. So this is the Technam P2002JF, a uh, Rotex engine inside, maybe I'll just open it for you to see what's inside. Very easy to open these panels. Seems like all right. So we have four cylinder engine, uh, reduction gearbox over here, the gearbox. Maybe it is uh, the generator, uh, the oil tank from other side, and this is the air inlet. We have two carburetors, one from this side and one from other side. And down over there we have some of the pipes and exhaust pipe as well. And here is the frame that supports the engine and it's linked to the aircraft itself. Very nice and very reliable engine. Uh, what's good in this engine that it's quite powerful for this small airplane. It's a 100 horsepower engine and it's also has nice resource. So for your first uh, maintenance you need to fly 2000 hours. It's quite a lot. Uh, so maybe you won't fly them for, for your entire career. Well, if you own this kind of airplane Imagine flying 2000 hours on engine on this small airplane probably you won't fly it in 10 years or something So it's a very reliable engine Here's the other side. I will not maybe open it for you, but maybe I will why not? Okay, here's the oil tank from this side again one more carburetor some electronics no, oh, actually, very, very simple engine, like in your car. Very simple. Here we have the two blades propeller. Nice. Here we have the oil radiator and one more radiator. Uh, so the air inlet over here, the exhaust from this side. Again, one more inlet. That's maybe the air filter for the engine inside one more air inlet maybe it's for ventilation i think so the ventilation goes just from this part so nice the nose gear is very interesting here we have a huge rubber part i think it's used to absorb the energy of the nose wheel touching the ground or something i like this construction it's very looks very reliable Nice. I like the color of this airplane. It's also very nice. The rubber is good. It's new. About the wing. It's a low wing airplane as you can see. The wing is very low and the airfoil is very thin compared to same size airplane for example K10 Swift. Maybe I'll show it to you later. We have it in our hangar over there. So there's another airplane with similar engine, a similar size, but the airfoil, I mean, this profile is quite thin here compared to uh, the other airplanes. That will make this airplane to fly faster. Here we have the refuel cap. Just need to unplug it and the fuel is inside. Very easy. Here you may see the capacity 50 liters for each wing tank. There are some modifications with the extra fuel tanks. I think it's up to 70 liters per wing, so totally 140 liters. Here we have the leading edge fixed device. It's similar, we have the similar thing on. Boeing 737 between the wing root and 
at the wing root part between the fuselage and the engine we have the same fixed uh, triangle part of the leading edge uh, part of the wing here's the stall indicator stall detector so it's not classical alpha vane as you may see on Boeing 737 here the airfoil will just lift this thing up and you have the stall warning indication inside your cockpit here lights the drain and yeah, nice good airplane here's the ailerons are the ailerons flaps have a modulating position electrical flaps and extension and we have brakes over here they're very similar to motorcycle brakes uh, the wing is very dirty here because we have the unpaved runway so there there are two runways one and the second one parallel runways and with no any payment here but it's okay for this airplane but just need to clean the bottom part of the wing yeah let's go clockwise here's the battery hatch external power and uh, what else registration by the way we have two of instructors in this flight school i will be the third one hopefully and so far we have just one aircraft for prior pilot training hopefully we'll have one more aircraft maybe this spring or something next spring and we'll fly we'll train the pilots what i like here is we don't have the elevator we have the all surface the stabilizer works as elevator similar as on a fighter jets here's the pitch string don't touch it says here's the rudder uh, vertical stabilizer here we have also the trim but it's fixed you can move it only on the ground and yes nice i like it. it's nice controllable on low speeds so i like this thing that we don't have the elevator we have just stabilizer moving here's the tail strut or something just not to scratch your tail you scratch this thing first it's metal and serial number etc antennas very funny <laughs> one more antenna and the left wing is the same as right except we have the pitted here where is it here here is the pitted nice let's go inside the cockpit pum, pum. so to go inside the cockpit you need just to open the canopy then put your leg over here and put your hand over here just grab it put your leg here and here's the cockpit view from above i like it the seats are quite comfortable you can change the direction i mean the closer not the direction but you can adjust your seat closer and more aft i put on the more aft part because i i am quite tall person here are the brakes but well i'll explain it to you later there is no emergency parachute here but anyway i think we don't need it here what else do we have fire extinguisher over there and that's it the thing to break the glass and the canopy and some other stuff let's go inside all right it's quite easy to get here have lots of space to get inside the cockpit the entry is quite huge the flight instruments and engine instruments are almost the same as on Cessna 152 172 so here we have classical steam gauges and this the airspeed indicator the turn coordinator and side slip indicator the artificial horizon here we have the electrical trim for the pitch pitch trim here we have the gyro compass uh, here we have the rpm of our propeller here not the engine rpm but we have the propeller rpm here we have the altimeter vertical speed indicator and this navigation thing where you can preset the course and follow the localizer or VOR so here we have just the watches the airplane watches 
and we have the calculation of how many hours does this engine uh, worked so the hours odometer or something the trim connection on off the communication panel the Garmin uh, 430 we have the transponder and here we have the flaps indicator here's the flap selector by the way and yeah we have two throttle controls for both pilots there's the engine start master switch generator uh, cabin heat pull uh, starter choke carburetor heat uh, here we have strobe leaning and navigation lights here are the engine instruments the temperature for the cylinders the temperature for the oil the pressure for the oil the fuel quantity in both tanks uh, the battery voltage the fuel pressure the temperature as far as i know of the fuel and a meter check the current here are the circuit breakers here's the fuel tank selector right or left and here are the brakes so you usually use it like this if you need to brake and the trim is here you just push these two buttons over here let's close the canopy wow it's nice airplane my friends nice airplane for pilot training nice airplane if you want to own the general aviation small kind of airplane nice i like it and it's very easy to fly however i spent some of the hours uh, several hours to get used to it because i used to fly i fly the big airplane big jets actually so it was not comfortable for me to fly this small thing but now i may fly it pum, pum. okay we are starting the engine and now i need to switch everything i'm flying with instructor right now switching navigation strobes uh, and uh, trimmer here we are taking on the airplane you can see led 410 aircraft on our left here's the unpaved runway so we're backtracking the runway is nice and smooth finish with a before takeoff checklist and now it's time for takeoff adjusting the throttle to full the engine is quite powerful yeah. so the takeoff roll is around 300 meters not more and we had a crosswind during our takeoff so i need to control the airplane direction and at around 45 knots it's just rise the nose had some of the stone warning and airborne all right let's fly and accelerate to 60 knots and maintain that airspeed until reaching 300 feet on the right you may see the apron our airfields nice here's the exercise of uh, engine shutdown engine failure simulation so instructor pulled the throttle and now i need to trade my altitude for the airspeed so it's the basic energy management then you trade your altitude so you trade your potential energy you convert it to kinetic energy of airspeed and the airport is on our left the airfield now i just did the base, base turn i'm on the base leg and coming to the final had a headwind from this point and i need to aim visually aim for the runway but not for the threshold i need to aim a little bit further than the threshold so overfly the threshold of around uh, 20 meters it's okay to overfly and i already extended the flaps because i'm very near to the airport and for a uh, single engine airplane is crucial exercise because you may have the engine failure and what is left is only uh, no engine landing and the glide ratio for this airplane is around 13 uh, 13 on our final as you can see the runway we have two runways on the left and on the right parallel runways left is for left for 10 and right for small airplanes so across the threshold at around uh, maybe 60 feet and now flaring maybe I needed to pitch more now touchdown was okay touchdown one in a row and using the brakes all 
Okay, we're getting the runway, it's the other threshold. And going to the apron again. Shut down the engine. Perfect. <laughs> Instructor said, you don't need me anymore. <laughs> Nice flight. My friends, I know you enjoyed this video because you are awesome and that is why you need to follow the awesome guy checklist. First, like this video, then subscribe to my channel, then ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time. Pam pam.